jazz hands. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, this book was on my TBR for a long, long time. Um, it was the Book of the Month Club uh, for March 2019. So well over a year. Um, it just sat and it sat and my friends kept on giving it terrific reviews and it sat and it sat and it sat <laughs> and finally I decided to pick it up. Um, I read this at least a month ago, so um, but the story has stayed with me. I wasn't even going to review it um, because I didn't know what all I was going to say about it. Uh, and I finally processed all of what I wanted to say, so here we are. Uh, the book is written almost like um, like it's a documentary program uh, that you're watching. And each one, because it almost reads like a script, but not really. It'll have the name, a colon, and then it'll give the lines. So it's like you're hopping back and forth in every chapter or section. Um, you're hopping back and forth between the different members of the band you have an audio producer you have their manager um, you have all these different people and everyone has their very own what do I want to say uh, their very own personalities I guess it was my favorite character the lights are kind of fading in and out <laughs> because it is cloudy and whatnot so maybe this wasn't the best idea I should, probably should have done it inside anyways um, that my favorite character in here, oddly enough, was Warren, um, because Warren, I'm going to put this, put this down, uh, Warren wasn't in the book a whole lot, but every time that he was in the book, um, I, I loved it, like he'll pop in with a little comment here and there, and I don't remember, I think he was the drummer, I'm pretty sure he was the drummer, because the, the two guitar players were, uh, no, the guitar, one guitar player and the bassist, right? were I think they were brothers and then the another guitarist and the lead singer were brothers and then there was Daisy and the drummer whatever anyways um so I don't remember everybody like the uh, especially not the producers or the the manager any of that stuff um they weren't all that important to me oh wow the what is it was it any time I put down my hands I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. Uh, anyways, I'm going to have to figure out the lighting if I'm going to continue doing the the show. No, the video is out here. Um, with with this one, I, if you are a fan of movies like Almost Famous or Rockstar, any, uh, anything of that nature, you're probably going to like this book. Um, I have not seen Rocket Man, the, the Elton John story. Um, so I can't comment on that one, but I, I did get a very, very strong, uh, almost famous vibe here. Um, and there, there is a twist toward the end that didn't really work for me. I, I feel like the author meant it to be a much bigger twist than it actually was. Um, and that was, I don't know, that, that was one thing that I didn't care too much for. But as far as the entire story goes in the book, altogether, it was a really, really good experience. And just because the twist didn't work for me doesn't mean that I'm going to knock off any stars or anything like that. So I'm going to give this five stars. Uh, there, there are some very, very beautiful scenes in this book. Um, some great descriptions of live concerts and stuff of that nature. Um, there's also... A, not a there's, a, there's a camaraderie here. So you feel like these people are actually band members. Um, that they spent time on the road, they had to deal with the good, the bad, the ugly, all that stuff. Um, it, there is a heavy theme of addiction. Um, so if you have any of those triggers, probably stay away from this one. Um, it didn't bother me all that much. Uh, I found it to be believable. Um, so Taylor Jenkins Reed uh, obviously did her research or she has a history of you know substance abuse it, it's it's either one um, I remember thinking that Chad Lutsky had to have had uh, a history of substance abuse um, when I after I read Wallflower and uh, come to find out that uh, he didn't not with heroin anyways um, he didn't have the <laughs> he didn't have any problems uh, with that 
uh, he was just researching online forums and stuff like that, and he, he got it pretty pretty damn close, and so did Reed. Uh, she did a tremendous job. I'm going to be looking into more of her stuff eventually. Uh, I do have another one. What is it? The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes, I think, is the other book. I'm, I'm trying... I was trying to do an entire month of just music theme stuff. I was going to do We Sold Our Souls um, by Grady Hendrix, uh, The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes, and Daisy Jones and the Six, but I didn't get, and The Final Reconciliation by uh, my buddy Todd Keesling. Um, they, I, I ended up only reading this book before October hit. Um, and most of that came about because I just kind of ran out of steam. Um, I was, the next review you're going to get from me is, uh, the, the Wall of Storms, which is the sequel to Ken Liu's, uh, what was it, The Grace of Kings. So that'll be the next review you get from me, and it'll probably be up tomorrow, um, because I'm going to be shooting it right after this, so I uploaded it. I need to get the two books that I was reading last month, well, still this month, but uh, I need to get both of those books up and reviewed because I'm going, I got something special planned for the entirety of October, and this video is going to annoy a lot of you, especially especially Patrick, who, who comments anytime something goes wrong with the camera, because I can see in the viewfinder how it keeps brightening and darkening, brightening and darkening, so I apologize uh, here at the end of the video. But if you read uh, Daisy Jones and the Six um, by Taylor Jenkins Reid, if you have, let me know what you thought about it down there in the doobly-doo. Um, if you loved it, if you hated it, tell me why you loved it and why you hated it so that we can have a discussion. Another thing is, I'm going to be down there in the comment section from here on out for all future videos. Um, I'm going to try to respond to as many people as I possibly can um, within the first week that a video is up and then I'm just going to stop checking them. Um, I have so many videos up now that it's just hard to keep up with any of them. But yeah, so let me know what you thought of the book if you've read it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I've been E, you've been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.